What up everybody, welcome to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys my settings on Lunar, Minecraft and recording software. But before we jump into it, make sure to like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications and also check out my Lunar cosmetics. They look really good, especially if you have red, black or white skin, they fit really really good and you should buy them right now. And yeah, enjoy the video! Alright, so we are gonna start by my Minecraft settings. Uh, firstly, we're gonna go to music. Basically, this is just personal preference. You can change it to whatever you want. Also, a lot of people tell me whenever I buy stuff from the shopkeeper, they don't hear dings or whatever. It's because I have this off. If you turn this on all the way up or something, you're gonna hear dings and stuff like that. But if you turn this off, then you won't be able to hear anything. And then onto my control settings, I basically don't have any vines or anything. <laughs> As you see, I, everything is just default and and here is the lunar ones. Boom, boom. You can just copy everything you want. Sensitivity is 66. And my DPI, I think, is 1600 or 1800. I don't know, something like that. For the video settings, now here, you can copy everything. For the graphics one, I use Fancy. I mean, if you have a bad PC, you can use Fast, but it doesn't really matter for me. I just like Fancy because if you look at the leaves, you can th see through and stuff. If I turn it off, you won't be able to. And there are a bunch of little details with like water and shadows, etc. For the render distance, I have it set to 10 because I play Battle Wars and I don't really play other, other game modes that require higher render distance. I just do duels and Battle Wars and that's all. For the frame rates, I have it at max because I don't like putting it here because I don't know, it just feels a little off. So I just have it at max. You bobbing, I play Battle Wars, so I obviously have it off because it's bad for speed bridging and stuff but you can have it on it's just personal preference uh this one is on on dynamic of ev is off because most of the better players have it off i just like it off. the quality um you can just copy all of these make sure to have custom sky on so you can see your the sky in your pack then yeah you can copy everything else on to the performance um you can just copy all of these i have this off because it just gives me more fps and then the rest you can just copy uh other Boom, 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 copy. And for the animations, I have all on. Onto the details, you can just copy all of these. Make sure to like have the sky off so you can see the bottom of your sky. Because if you have it on, see it's just black. And then if you turn it off, you'll be able to see it. Yeah, just copy all of these. I have this sun off. And the shaders, I don't really have shaders, and that's all for the video setting. And for the chat settings, just in case if anybody is wondering, yeah, you can copy these. And for the FOV, I use 90. A lot of people ask me that as well. I kind of forgot. Right, now onto the Lunar Client settings. Before I show you the settings, I just want to talk about this. Um, I have these on because I stream a lot. And people ask me like, what's your pack? What's your CPS? Your ping, etc, etc. So I have these on. But a few minutes ago, I was thinking and I th I'm gonna be removing some of these soon because I just don't really need them and I just want to make my screen a little bit cleaner. But yeah, it's completely personal preference and do whatever you want. Um, for the settings, here are all the settings that are enabled and disabled. We're gonna be going through the settings that are enabled only and disabled one that I don't really use, so yeah. For the FPS mod, here's everything. You can copy whatever you want. The color here, you can copy the code and then do the same exact one if you wanna. For the animation, most of them are 1.7 because it just looks better and feels better. Um, also, I was always wondering what this does. If you guys know, then let me know in the comments because I have no idea what this does and I wanna know. For the CPS one, it's... Yeah, you can just copy everything. Toggle sneak. I don't really need this because I have my pinky finger on the control key, aka, AKA sprint key. So I don't really need this, but I just have it on just just cuz I, I don't know <laughs> and zoop key You can copy this armor status. Uh, you can just copy everything here. Boom boom It's this one here. If you didn't know hypixel mods. I have this off. Um, I have auto GG auto who even though I don't know why I have this on when every time I join the game It doesn't really do slash who automatically in chat auto tip. I don't really need it even though I heard it's not really good on Lunar Client, but I'm not sure. <laughs> anti dd I don't want it. Level Head, this is really important. Make sure to have it on because if you join a Bedwars Lobby and you have this on and you see somebody with no Level Head on top, it's, it's most likely that they're nicked and it's rarely that it's the client lagging. Um, it's almost never actually. But yeah, this helps you a lot. So make sure to turn this on. These are the colors. Um, the cords. I don't really need this, but you can copy everything. 
Um, this is mostly for UHG players or people who play ranked bedwars because like, you know, when you bridge really high the high limit and then you want to know like where to stop bridging up so you don't fall, etc. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, you can copy all these. For keystrokes, I have it on because it's just really ugly even though a lot of people tell me to turn it on so they want to learn how I move and... <laughs> I don't know why I said that, bro. <laughs> um for the crosshair here are all the settings a lot of people ask me this now before before i used to have this off but i turned it on because i just want to try something different um but yeah you can copy all these proportion effects this is really important um copy everything you can always customize it do whatever you want but i'm just too lazy i don't really care so i just have it like this for the scoreboard, um, yeah, also, I just wanted something, I realized something before, like, recording this video. I have never noticed that I have these numbers on. They are really, really ugly, but I, I for some reason, I never noticed that I have them on. So, yeah, just let me turn them off real quick. And then for the ping, you can just copy, it's just same as, like, CPS and FPS. Basically. You can copy this. Motion blur. A lot of people ask me for this. A lot. Uh, I don't use this one because it's just ugly. Um, I have it on 5 or 4. It doesn't really matter. I used to have it on 4, but now I have it on 5 because I just like it blurry. So And chat. This is also important. This one, a lot of people ask me as well. You know, when you, whenever you buy or somebody spams the same message, it says, you know, X3, X4, X5. Yeah, this make sure to have it on an unlimited chat so you can like, you know, scroll as much as you want. I think there's still a limit, but it's really far. Um, yeah, these are the settings. Name tag mod. Yeah, this one, like this one. See, I can see my name here, but it's not really important. You can turn it off if you want to. For this scroll, I don't know what the frig this says, bro. Um, yeah, somebody let me know what this is. <laughs> I'm not going to touch anything, but yeah. Particles, multiplier, you can copy all these, show up criticals. Quick hider, I use this all the time whenever I'm streaming. It's really useful if you're a streamer and stuff because people just like, yeah, snipe and stuff. Uh, sometimes I turn this on if I'm playing threes or fours or doubles and my teammate is the leader because, you know, I don't want to show anybody who is in my game who's not. But if I'm the leader and I'm the one queuing, then I have this off. But yeah, it's just personal preference, whatever you want. And then combo counter, this is just, you know, it's, it's cool to have, I don't know, I'm probably gonna take it off soon. So, you can copy if you wanna. Rage display, ooh, this is cool, yeah. <laughs> time changer, oh man, oh man, if you're an OG, you know what, what time changer is for me. Yeah, this is just personal preference, whatever you wanna... Whenever you want it to be, night or day or sunset or whatever. Uh, now for the shiny pots, this is, if you play no diva or whatever, it's cool. So, and block outline, some people ask me about this as well. Here you go, you can copy everything. Uh, screenshot upload, oh, this is good, yeah. Make sure to have this on as well, because it makes you able, like, to copy the screenshot directly and send it to somebody, etc. Yeah, free look, this is really, really important if you're, like, sweating and playing carefully and say so you can just press f key or whatever you want it uh, to be set to and then you can look around while you pack display this is again because i'm a streamer a lot of people ask me what, what your pack is and stuff so yeah i have it on. and i think that's all yeah hitbox also this is this is kind of important if you want to if you're if you're a nerd um <laughs> if you want to be a nerd basically uh you can have it on sometimes i never literally never use it but Last time, I think it was a couple days ago, I used it and it didn't feel bad. So I'm probably going to use it more often. So, And I think this is all for the mods. Now onto the setting. You can go through all these, copy and everything if you want to. Boom, boom, boom. All right, and then performance. You make sure to have Fulbright because without it, it's just easy to play batteries. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, controls. I have the emotes one. This is literally the only one I use, which is Beak. So, yeah. And wait, I don't really use this one. And I think this is all for my Lunar Client settings and Minecraft. And now let's hop onto the OBS settings. All right, so this is my recording software. Um, I'm not using the normal OBS because I kind of stopped once I started doing hand cam because 
there was a fat delay there so i switched to this one because here there's no delay and i don't really see a big of a difference so i use this to stream and record too now onto the settings uh here you can just copy all these i don't have some of these on because my pc is bad and they'll definitely be changed whenever i get a, a new better pc for example this automatically record when streaming i'm definitely gonna turn this on whenever i stream because you know sometimes you have some cool games that you want to save for a video or something and just recording it from the stream or whatever it won't be as good you know the quality and stuff so this is completely up to you if you want to turn it on or off it depends on your pc for the output now for the streaming and stuff these are all the settings make sure to have this one on the new especially if you use nvidia or whatever i have a 15,000 bitrate i could put it on like 60 or something um but i think sometimes it lags it's not my wi-fi because i don't face any like lags whenever i'm playing or anything but my stream just lags for some reason so i just have it on 15 just you know playing it safe and then you can copy these and then for the recording one here you go um a cbr and 30,000 bitrate uh yeah the audio ones i think these one you can use different tracks and stuff uh i don't use them but i will definitely start using these for example you can set this track to, for your in-game and then this one for discord if you were in a call with somebody and this one for you know your mic if you want to change some stuff yeah if you know what i'm talking about you know what I'm for the replay buffer um it's basically for example let's say you're playing minecraft right bad words you did a sick ex 15 000 blocks extension you don't want to you know miss that you want to use it for a montage or something you're going to basically set a hotkey and then you're going to press that hotkey and it's going to save like for example the last 20 seconds or whatever time you put here and then you can use that clip to put it in a montage edit or whatever send it to anybody and yeah, this is basically it. I don't really use it because I use Invi NVIDIA Experience or whatever it's called. It's a, another program to clip stuff, but yeah. In order, if you use this one, you have to have the application open, basically. If you don't have it on, then it won't clip anything. Just saying. And for the audio, you can copy all of these. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Video, I use 1920 by 1080. I have no idea how to say this word. Be I'm not gonna embarrass myself, anyways. <laughs> I use this, I use common FPS value. I record everything in 60 FPS because it just doesn't make my PC like so. Um, I've tried fractual or factual, uh, fact I don't know what's called, dude. FPS, and I set it to like higher FPS, but it just makes my PC lag, so I'm playing it safe here. That's why I have it on 60. And then hotkeys, this is just completely up to you. This is. Uh, where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Replay. I can't find it. Replay buffer. I have no idea. It's, so, it's somewhere It's somewhere here. Basically, you're going to set it to a hotkey and then you're going to press it and then it was going to save it. So, yeah. Um, advanced. I have no idea what this is. Uh, yeah, no idea what this is. And all of these, I have no idea what they are. I think they are just some streaming stuff. Alright, I think this is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoy my settings. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye bye! So